Hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Earth Defense Force Iron Rain. There we go, it takes like six tries to start an intro. Anyway, so if you've never heard of this series before, it is probably one of my favorites of all time. It's like if you mushed Starship Troopers and Godzilla together, and uh, I know Shell's gonna yell at me, it's them, yeah, sure, uh, giant ants. But effectively, you're fighting hordes of giant insects, giant kaiju, aliens, UFOs, you name it. It's very B-movie, it's very ridiculous. It's a little low budget at times, but like, honestly, in a lot of cases, I think that adds to the charm, because it really does feel like a B-movie, B-movie flick game. Anyway, so I've already played EDF 4.1 and 5 on this channel. I'd highly recommend you go check out those series, because they're a lot of fun, because I think it also sets the stage for what this game is, because EDF 4 and EDF 5 were relatively small cult hits in the US and you know we're great fun and I highly recommend them EDF 4.1 is on Steam and works great and 5 is only on PS4 and this unfortunately is also only going to be on PS4 sorry for PC crowd uh, but so effectively they made 4 and 5 and people loved them but there's always been the criticism that it's not a really Western focused series so this is their I guess second attempt because I think they did Insect Armageddon which was supposed to be uh, a Western focused game and it didn't it didn't do so great. I've played this one already and I think it's much closer to a Western focused release. They've got a whole lot of quality of life, you know, changes, patches, whatever, and you'll see them as we go along. And just, it feels better for me. And at the same time, it also does not replace EDF5 for me. And uh, I actually spoke to Okajima-san, and he said, uh, the, the director of the series, and he said that if this goes well, we're actually going to get two EDF series, Iron Rain, two, three, four, five, and just the standard mainline EDFs, which I'm really excited for, because the more EDF I can play in a given year, the better. So with that out of the way, let's get started. My controller's off. That would slow things down a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I did say I've played this before. I played it a little bit at PAX. Uh, let's do voice setting. Let's check. Okay, we're good. I, I played this a little bit at PAX West? No, East. Sorry. Like, two weeks ago. And had a lot of fun. Got to meet uh, Okajima-san in person, plus some, some of the uh, staff that worked on it, some of the publisher people, so on and so forth. And it was a really cool experience, and I've got a hat uh, in the other room and some other... I got a signed poster, even. And they're all cool and all. I didn't actually get any footage from the event because I forgot to actually ask to record because I'm a dummy. But honestly, it doesn't matter because we've got the main game right here. So uh, right off the bat, if you notice, it says uh, weapons collected, blah, blah, blah. And then there's those three resources below hand. Uh, one of the main changes that they made to EDF that a lot of a lot of people were, you know, really grumbly about. Oh, that's that's my name. I don't want to do that. We're Captain Anime, not Alias. That's dumb. Captain. There we go. I gotta actually focus for this. I, I can't just run my mouth. That's... that's bad. Uh, so instead of unlocking weapons based on random drops nowadays, you actually get resources for it, which I think is kind of cool. So, interesting. You actually just get to set the difficulty here. I'm gonna leave it on normal. I wonder how that's gonna... I hope that actually just sets the default difficulty for every mission. You can switch it up as you go along. I'm, I'm curious to see how that this works, because in old school EDF there's a bunch of different difficulties, obviously, and each mission could be played at every level and it would give you more more powerful gear as a result. Do you type type A, type B? Uh, let's probably do type A, camera tilting, vibration, control type. Uh, I'm probably just going to leave it like this, I'm sure we can switch these settings later on. Sorry this is taking so long to get into, I just want to make sure I do it right. Mothership? Who knows? Connect energy core to PA gear. Stat. What? Emergency communication from HQ. EDF satellite laser. 
laser fires in five seconds. Come on, we got this. What? The aggressors are firing at us. Hold on. Whoa! We can't keep her up. We're going down. Yes, leader, sir. I made a mistake. <laughs> exact same thing in the uh at the press demo at PAX sort of I I just like get really aggressive I'm like I'm charging forward the ants just crush me to death yeah you die a little bit faster in this game uh sort of I may well I guess part of it is I probably just don't have any upgrades yet too but uh yeah don't get surrounded let's try that again <laughs> oh shoot you know what I forgot to ask uh question Letting the dialogue go. I apologize. Okay, can I can I go into the options? I'm gonna see if I can mess with the audio settings because holy shit. Okay, good. We can turn the rest of this down. It's just a little loud. And I really want to hear that that nice B grade voice acting. A burst of energy detected from the hive craft. Probably shouldn't be here again. See you later. Cruise missile making impact now. I'm glad they have cutscenes in this. Commander, the flare team. Is anyone? Is anyone alive? A flare team, the Type SPA gear unit. No survivors. This can't be. We lost every single one of the new cores. Uh, take this. Booting. 
Reading Type S Energy Core. Registering PA Gear User DNA Code. Complete. Updating PA Gear. Installing Overdrive System. Commander, there's one Type S that is working. A survivor from the Flare Team? No, uh, the registration is changed to that of a normal Quake soldier. Quake? Energy core what connected. No matter. Right now we need to destroy the Hivecraft. Hey you, where's that Type S? Do you copy? Look, the main cannon misfired and it's falling apart. High energy signatures detected inside. It, it must be the Hivecraft's energy source. You are the only one here who can fight. Your PA gear is capable of overdrive. Finish off the hive craft and the aggressors. Giant creature approaching. <laughs> That's a lot of missiles. Oh, shoot. I should probably focus a little bit on my immediate surroundings. Oh, I really like this. This Can feels better. The soldier did not make it out of the destruction. No, it can't be. Uh, did I <laughs> did I lose? I kind of want this guy to just like constantly like every mission ends really badly for him, and yet somehow he shows up on the next one, and everybody's like, "How?" It'd be satisfying. What I miss some? Eh, whatever. Okay, so a couple of things to talk about. One, we get resources, we get money. So there's yellow, red, and blue resources. I'm not entirely sure what the names are. Energy gems, I guess. Uh, so reward for this mission was 2,000. If you notice, there's a used item deduction. So unlike previous EDF games, uh, specifically if you're an air raider, if you say summon in a tank, you had to kill X number of enemies to charge up the tank, and then you'd summon the tank, and then you're fine. Because this game does does it differently because it has a cash system. Say if you summon a tank, well that costs you three hundred, and uh, and so you'll you'll have like a small deduction from that. Same thing with healing items, yada yada yada. Nice thing is anybody can be air raider in this game. There's four classes. There's standard soldier, wing diver, uh, fencer, and uh, honestly, like I'm terrible with the line rider. I think is it? It's something close to line rider. I I don't remember the names that well. But effectively, uh, you have Standard Soldier, which you just saw, uh, Fencer, which is kind of the heavy weapons guy, uh, Slower, has like jet engines to like fly around and stuff, or hover, I guess, Wing Diver, which is you fly, but you have a limited amount of energy, so you can only fly for a bit, and the, I'm going to call them Lime Riders until we actually get to choose, which I think is immediately after this, uh, but they just are straight up Attack on Titan, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's keep going. I just want to clarify some things for people that might have questions on this. Because it's a good time for me to answer those early on. Welcome back. This is Renald Campbell, Commander-in-Chief of the EDF Army. I must say I didn't expect you to ever wake up. After you took down the Hivecraft, you got caught in its destruction and fell unconscious. <laughs> I did survive. You've been in a coma for seven years. But it looks like you made it out alive. Now it's time to head off to a new battlefield. I'm assigning you to Blast, a mobile unit that works directly under my command. Check your weapons and gear and make sure you're prepared to battle the aggressors. I'm counting on you. Okay, so unlike every previous EDF game, there's character customization in this. You actually get to change what you look like. Uh, so... Oh, voice. Hey there. Uh, you're good. Definitely number three. Boy, body. Okay, so we can be thin, thick, thicker. And, okay, face and hair. So, I'm not a big fan of a lot of these for obvious reasons, just because Uncanny Valley is very strange. Uh, so, story from when I was at PAX, I never actually got any feedback on this one, which is unfortunate. But I was the first person to demo the game at PAX, and so I made an unholy monstrosity of a man, like hot pink and everything. I feel a little bit bad because I'm sure... I'm sure Okajima-san had no idea what I was ta talking about or doing or whatever. 
a sans son oh, god i'm terrible with honorifics uh they all call him that so i just kind of am going with it like every email refers to him as such but yeah so i gave i had like pink hair pink skin pink armor and i just left it for the next person to run into and i have no idea if there was a reaction but i'm i'm secretly hoping some other streamer or youtuber went in to get the you know the private demo or straight up like ign or something and got to see the monstrosity that I had created and left behind. I spent like the last 5-10 minutes on this thing, too, and I was like, I could do a mission or I could do this. And so that is what I did. Anyway, do we wanna do we wanna just be an edgy anime? Yo oh, yeah, we're absolutely I'm Captain Anime! Of course I'm an edgy anime protagonist. No, we could just straight up look like Noctis. Uh but that'd be boring. Let's see, is there I was really hoping I, I could actually pick a custom character. Color, but whatever. Okay. So we want a hard looking dude. I like this. That is one monstrous nose. <laughs> He's like a bad cosplayer. Oh. Only normal co well, he's Captain Anime. He never goes outside. Alright, eyes. Ah. <sighs> There's no heterochromia. Oh, but there is this. <laughs> he is the most anime already. I think we gotta go with those yellow eyes, man. Like, these are just kind of unnerving. Because it's flesh-colored. Oh, God, the eyes are flesh-colored. You don't really notice. Yeah, the red eyes wouldn't be bad, but I think we're going yellow. Uh, facial hair. Mustache. Beard. Mustache and beard. Well, the mustache is just creepy. The beard's not terrible. We're going mustache and beard. Kind of hoping I could make it longer, but that's okay. Clothing! So, also, you get to change what suit you wear, which is actually really cool. You can also buy cosmetics, not with real money, but like in-game currency. Uh, so it kind of gives you something to work towards, which I really dig. Ooh! Oh man, this looks really close to my freaking bike man thumbnail. Uh, do I want to be a different color or do I want to be blue? Because I really like the trooper gear... Okay, let, let's look around a little bit. I think you might unlock more than this, too. I'd swear I saw more as you go along. Okay, let, let's be Bike Man. I don't even know if there's freaking bikes in this game, but I might as well be Bike Man as kind of a neat reference to my previous series, at least for now. Uh, let's see, clothing, upper body. I apologize to those of you that, you know, want me to just get on with the game already. Uh, actually... You know what? This is probably going to be a separate episode entirely, or who knows? I look a little bit... Maybe I look too chubby. Let's go back to physical traits. Let's go body. Yeah, it really is just a... How fat are you? Well, that's unfortunate. Eh... The previous one was just a little bit much in the coat. I apologize. I've been actively losing weight. Uh, I actually like this better. This looks... This looks nicer. Yeah. Much more bike man. Now, we could, like, go with this. And actually... You know... Why don't we actually be slightly different color bike man this time around? I'm going to be re referencing some of these things. I apologize. Uh, if you haven't seen my, my previous EDF series... Uh, I'm going to say it again. Please go watch it, because I'm going to be trying to re bring back some of those old jokes, just because. Okay. Do we go with these pants? No. Ah, too green, though. Too leather. Let's go with that. It's a little bit more muted. Okay, face ex accessories. So, baklava. Or balaclava, sorry. Man, I could go for some baklava. We gotta unlock some more, I guess. So, if I go none... Uh... No. Uh, no. We gotta go with this. Yeah, that's that's some bike man right there. Setup complete. Alright, that didn't take too long. Alright, mission one, assignment blast team. Uh, let's see, so we can check our equipment. Yeah, so it looks like we unlock new things as we go through the game. Interesting, so we don't even have all the uh, PA gear unlocked. So, trooper is the basic trooper. Jetlifter is the fencer, I think. No, never mind. Jetlifter is the wing diver. Uh, eh. You know what? Actually, everybody always got mad at me for not going wing diver that much, so, so we're just gonna. New legend everyone's talking about. Come to we're gonna to roll. Weapons. Name Sam. Bring the energy gems and cash, and I'll make anything you need. 
I got a feeling I'll be seeing you a lot. Glad to meet you. Oh, that actually is voice acting. Let's unlock the shotgun. Right away. Just uh, no returns, okay? And what else do we have? Yeah, so we really have not unlocked like much of anything. That's cool though that uh it has an unlock system as well as like a buy. I hope there's an upgrade system, but I don't I don't see it. So chances are it's just going to be like completing certain missions unlocks new new bits of gear. We'll see. Let's get going. And yeah, uh for those of you that want more gameplay, don't worry, this is going to be a long first episode. And then unfortunately episode 2 and 3 might be a little bit on the um repetitive side like we might actually have to do a little bit of early game grinding because this game's actually embargoed uh until tomorrow i can only post the first hour one to three hours i part of the reason why i'm going a little slow uh because i actually want to you know play as much of this as possible before that embargo drops so it means i have to play within the constraints ish uh so there's a very real possibility we might fiddle with some difficulty settings and you know unlock every low level item even if it's no good God, I gotta get a PS4 Pro. These load these load times are painful. Not that painful. It's not like Monster Hunter World painful. We've reached the mission area. Roger. Blast team, boot up your PA gear and begin descent. Roger, <laughs> cut the radio. Last team, begin descent. Let's go. It's time to do business. <laughs> What was it that music? I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go wing diver today. At least for a little bit. Or jet lifter, but it's wing diver, let's be honest. Okay. God damn it, I just used another healing grenade again. This rocket launcher, I think, is just gonna be my bread and butter for a little while. Oh, is there sweet spot reloading? This mission's objective is to destroy the giant creature's nest. Roger. Everyone, disperse and search. These bugs make a nest again? I'll burn them all to the ground. Mike, don't go out alone. But you got my back anyway, don't you, Brenda, baby? I'll make your back into a beehive. Oh, I am so scared. Mike, Brenda? Yes, sir. We have our mission. Save your quarreling for another time. Take it easy. Don't shoot me. They actually gave the companion characters more of a personality. It's not just the colonel anymore. Okay, that's the button for for flying. I gotcha. I'll switch back to this. Sweet spot reloading is nice. Oh. That's cool. Initiating attacks. If converted to a nest, into a nest, just as they do to a rotting tree in the wild. Roger, can you hear me? This is Renault Campbell, commander in chief of the EDF Army. It's been seven years. Do you remember me? Um, sorry. Closer is your code name. Maeve, please explain. Yes, sir. I'm Maeve, an operator based at the EDF North American Headquarters. You may already have heard, but... Closer, you have been assigned to BLAST, a mobile unit that works directly under the Commander-in-Chief. As part of the BLAST team, you will be joining the aggressor extermination missions around the globe. Closer, was it? You're the hero who took down the Hivecraft, right? Welcome to BLAST. I'm Captain Takuma Yagami. Wow, look at you! The hero of the Oh, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Ow. stink eyes over there is the squad one leader, Brenda. Shut up, squad two leader. You were in a coma for seven years. You must still be out of it somewhat. Don't step out of line and screw us over. Got it. Uh, that hurt. I'm not sure what hit me, but holy butts, I was not ready for that. They are accurate too, relatively. I'm assuming that's the nest over there. I'm just gonna pile rockets off into the distance and hopefully these guys can kind of protect me. Hey, they actually know they're ants in this one! 
as it. opposed to just giant insects or something like that. The nest is about to collapse. Are they just insulting me from a distance? They are. Jerks. Targets eliminated. <sighs> Good. Now check for collateral damage. There are enemies remaining. Eliminate all enemies. That got risky. Oh wait, no, no. I did get some HP from that. Oh! Picking up the crystals actually gets you... Oh, right, no, no, no. Green... Green crystals is health. dig the uh oh I really dig the voice acting for the companion characters obviously it's gonna make it a little bit harder for me to come back recharging energy I'm fine aggressors detected all enemy forces eliminated don't forget to collect energy gems you haven't lost your touch complete unfortunately the battle continues even now after you took down the hivecraft, the giant creatures continue to breed and multiply. Cooling the situation is much different than it was seven years ago, but I'm counting on you, hero. Flatter damage! My favorite! What's more dangerous to the world than uh, the aggressors? Me. Oh. I got to double check. Okay, we got 100% of the gems this time around. I was a little on the slow side and took a lot of damage. I don't actually know if rank matters. Ouch. Using that grenade was uh, pricey. I think I might have accidentally used like one or a handful of healing items. Oh well. This is UNN, the Universal News Network on the battlegrounds. Early this morning, EDF carried out an extermination operation of the giant creatures near San Francisco. We are told that the soldier who destroyed the Hivecraft in the major battle seven years ago was a part of this mission. After seven years, will our hero become the light of hope who brings a bright future for mankind? Universal News Network signing off. Well, well. Look who's newsworthy over here. Who the hell sold out Intel? Mike, was it you? Ha ha. Very funny. Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, you swore you'd never bring that up. Okay, so we got some new equipment. What else do we get? Welcome to I'm the EDF online weapon shop. Okay, so we did get the Tango. Uh, locks on. Honestly, I'm probably going to stick with the rocket launchers. There's a lot more weapon types than this, by the way. If there's any concern. Okay. So, oh, cost of use. That is pricey. Yeah, I'm going to try and avoid using these. Uh, the uh, unfortunate thing is, yeah, just pressing L1 uses your items. And I'm not adept enough at these to not just use them by accident. I don't know. I feel like a fool, but it happens. Cost of fighting back. In 2033, EDF initiated Operation Red Sprite to destroy the Hivecraft. While the EDF were victorious, it was a grueling battle that 70% of the soldiers never returned from. Facing collapse, the EDF now relies on sponsorships from major corporations. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense, but like, kind of? I'm just imagining I'm going to have like McDonald's, like the, the arches slapped on my rear or something. That would actually be really amusing if you had to manage sponsors by like covering your character in advertisements. And like doing certain kills and stuff there appear to be multiple dormant scourgers in this area defense priority is low here but there are many refugees in the areas nearby <laughs> your mission is to destroy the scourgers and take those areas out of harm's way dormant scourgers are completely safe as long as you approach with caution and do not attack 
Dormant scourges are completely safe, you say. I'm assuming those are those big things. Wow, this actually drives really well. <laughs> Wait, I have ammo on hogs? <laughs> That's a thing? I hope we get a motorbike. I'm gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> oh, they're following me. Crap. All right. Out of my way! Oh, I guess I am supposed to kill these things. Is that it? It's already dead? Dang. That worked out. Okay, we got another one. Got him. Recharging energy. Figure I can kind of pelt him from afar. These guys are not nearly as tough as I was expecting. They look rad though. Which is like really satisfying. I don't know. I I mean I liked the the Hectors in EDF 4.1 and the aliens were rad in, in five. Is it just not aware of me? Recharging energy. Yeah, it's like it just totally missed the fact that I existed. I, I wonder if they have a detection radius problem. I mean, it might also just be they're, they're kind of hamstrung right now. The nearby scourgers have also woken up. Look out. Be careful not to get surrounded. Not great at leading my shots in these games. first invaded, these Ravagers were released all around the world. They say those heat rays took out half the world's population. Yes, please. Destroy them all. No one else should have to die. Eh. I'm terrible at sweet spot reloading. I've never been good at it. It doesn't look like it does localized damage as much. In, uh, in EDF 5... Uh, you could like shoot limbs off ants to some degree. Mainly the uh, the frog aliens, but still. Ah, man, I wish all the guns actually had sweet spot reloading. The shotguns are gonna be kind of a tough sell in comparison to this. But I don't know if it's localized purely to the, uh, the rocket launcher here. That's it? That's never it. Mission complete. Great work, team. That was it. Is that robot designed based on mankind? Or maybe it's what they look like. This robot having two legs may be the attempt at something that looks like us. Cooling terminal unit. I really hope we get to upgrade our PA gear a little bit. So I can like fly it much gems. more often. I'm really I'm really digging uh Online. I'm, I'm really digging the wing diver gameplay in this right now. Like, I just, I, mainly I didn't like them in the previous games because the weapon set was so, like, esoteric. But this, this feels good. But I think a lot of it is just, like... Yep, got my wife and kid down in a Priority B protection shelter. Need three more badges to move them to Priority A. I don't know, I've always liked the basic trooper weapons. Interesting, resurrection devices. Not really that helpful for me, but still cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess we can keep just jamming out missions. I'm not sure how many... Uh, they only said first one to three hours of the game, so I'm not actually sure where that cutoff is. We might just be fine, I don't know. 
Or I'm just blitzing missions really fast. I should have probably picked something other than the shotgun, though, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, well, we'll switch after this one. I, I'm just really liking this rocket launcher. It, it, the sweet spot reloading, I generally hate most games and just kind of forget about. But in this case, since I got nothing better to do half the time, apart from just, like, kind of staying in the area, might as well? I, I don't know. It also just makes it, yeah, significantly faster than regular guns. I look pretty cool. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I should probably help. That is a lot of things. Oh, screwed it up. I was kind of hoping ramming the truck into them would actually be funnier. I think it actually does stun them, by the way. We might need... We might need to use some healing items here. Okay. I wonder when we access that new PA gear. Because it seems like you might... Well, I mean, obviously, we have to unlock the other ones. Oh, ow. I don't want to be there. Wing Diver was the right choice for this mission, probably. I don't actually know where my allies are or if they're even still alive. But, uh... I figure just kind of staying mobile, staying away. Should actually make this pretty doable. It seems like they're all quite distracted with everybody else. Giant creatures have appeared. They're few in number. A bomb beetle. Watch out for the gas. Yeah, uh, that's the other thing about this game. They have a bunch of new enemy types. Uh, compared to even five, which like actually introduced quite a lot of new dudes, which is cool. Okay. So yeah, we got. Oh god. Yeah, they can do boost jumps. Fun fact. Or boost jumps, boost charges. Ow. Note to self, that explosion lasts for a little bit longer than I was expecting. Thank you, Dang. Gotta stay away from that laser. I've still got some HP left. Okay. Let's grab some HP crystals. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. ow. And I switched weapons like a fool. It's okay. This is the last dude. And it looks like my fellow soldiers are actually, like, fairly survivable comparatively. Okay. 
I'm not actually sure where his weak spots are, and I'm not sure how much it matters. I know it's too late now, but it'd be. All giant creatures exterminated. Don't forget to collect the energy gems the aggressors left behind. Yes, ma'am. Energy gems are an important resource for us. They're needed to power the energy cores used in our equipment, including in our PA gear. Basically, we need them to survive. That's right. Everyone finished? Let's head back to camp. Recharging energy. It would be nice if you actually had unlimited energy for the last, like, 30 seconds. I worry about my parents back home. Ah! I guess I could just go overdrive. That'd do it. I think you can only overdrive once per mission. Or unless you pick up any of those gold cores. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I think I'll switch. If I don't get me some gems, it's gonna be tough to pay my lease this month. Last month I lost big. Back at the ant races? Let up, man. I'll double your pay. Next time. Okay, so we're getting a lot of things. Dummy balloons, a naughty boy. But I think I already have... Yeah, it says I've got that equipped. We're also finding a lot of cosmetic gear. Alright, uh, let's see. Mission? No. We want to switch out the shotgun. What you need? Oh no, E. E doesn't mean equipped. E means uh, rank E, duh. So we do have the naughty boy. Less damage, way more ammo. What am I using? I'm using the Cyrus 2. So. Well, if I'm trying to replace my shotgun. Let's see, damage 18. Let's grab the Ardwolf. Uh, thanks, or bud. not the Ardwolf, the uh, the Outrage. I don't know where I got Ardwolf from. Okay, so Cyrus versus Naughty Boy. Less damage, 12 ammo, 3 shots a second. Oh, burst fire. Let's see, Blast Radius. A, B. I mean, we might as well give it a go. Try different missions. Uh, missions, weapons. Because, like, ultimately, why not? Still haven't found any new ones. Oh, hit point capacity. Oh, shoot. There we go. So, that busts up my HP a lot. So, we can go all the way up to, <laughs> for 3 million gold... Uh, or coins or whatever. I can go up to 10,000 HP. I like that. I was wondering about that. Now, do any of these... Actually, these are just, uh... Cosmetics. I like the fact that there are so many cosmetics, though. Anyway. Do we have... Any ridiculous... Anime things. No. I mean, we have, like, Ant Hunter EDF symbols. I like the EDF symbols, but no. If we're Captain Anime, I think I need... I think I need something ridiculous. But I could do USA. No, I... No. Uh, wisdom, trust, loyalty, appreciation, respect thy elders, righteousness. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna keep that on. Uh, right. I was gonna look at coloring. Admittedly, not as many colors as I was hoping for. Anyway, we want it to be black. And I just wanted to check. Yeah, the HP capacity carries over between. Yes! That is such a nice change! Way less grind. I mean, I'm sure it's still going to get really grindy for some of those ridiculous things later on. But, like, that's a nice change. It, it really does feel like, uh... <laughs> They were listening, I guess. Well, I actually do know they were listening. Apparently, uh, a number of the people on the development team have watched my entire EDF5 series, which, like, is a little weird. I mean, I know developers do that, but I'm not used to larger developers, especially in Japan, doing that. But it's really cool for me. The team found a horde of giant creatures in this area while they were scouting. Last team, search the area and exterminate all giant creatures on site. A 
Another day, another business opportunity. Hey, Brenda, let's bet on who's squawk and collect more chips. You're awfully cherry. I can't help it. We've been racking up win after win since that closer came. That crazy overdrive tests my part like paper. And you profit off the scraps. You got it. So, closer, light them up again today, won't you? Let's go, squad two. Don't fall behind, team Brenda. Okay, I should probably get out of here a little bit. Wow, Team Blast is so cool. Join in the trial, you. Keep your distance. I really like this burst fire ro rocket launcher. It feels so good. The damage isn't as good, but like, whatever. Look at the ants fly! Why are they all talking to Mabu like that? Also, Team Blast is such a such a campy name. Thank you, Closer. This whole storm of them. So interesting comparison between this and other EDF titles. There's actually a lot less enemies. They die pretty well. Currently, they die pretty fast. But. uh... Okay, did get the HP. We'll be fine as long as we have closer with us. Uh, they die pretty fast, but they are actually, they feel, at least the basic ants feel more deadly. But I also did increase my HP considerably. Eh, not that much, actually. Like, it feels considerably, but I still... I'm gonna eradicate every last one of you. Guess that's about it. I still got messed up there. Unknown giant creature approaching. Okay. That's uh that's a missile. What is that? Never seen that one before. A new that's man? called a missile. Checking database. Energy. There is a hit. The Canada branch encountered it two days ago. Any info? Apparently it's body cam. Yup, got it. Brace yourselves. PA gear online. Okay, that's pretty cool. What happened with the Canada branch? Tell me they took him down. Well, actually... Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, being able to fly... Large number of energy gems detected inside. Squad leader, look at all those energy gems. Everyone, I see two. collect those energy gems from the body. We need those gems ever since we lost our generators. Woo! That's what I call a payout. <laughs> you must enter the tiger's den to take a tiger cub. It was worth the risk. Sir, your ancient Japanese sayings are really confusing. Essentially, it's a bonus character. Bonus character? Remember? They had them in video games? Oh, right! Video games! I remember those. When I was a kid, I used to borrow my brother's wrestling game. I might have to turn up the difficulty. Did I just kill it? No, I didn't. I was going to be real surprised if I managed to kill it this early on. Ow. Whoa. Note to self, don't stand so close to this sucker. And I'm assuming there's more of these. Ants? If we retreat, the nearby area A will be in danger. Defense priority level A. We must protect the sponsor's housing. Send lightning for backup. Roger. Hey, Closer. Did you know we only fight in high defense priority level areas? There's not enough of us to protect all the areas. They call it being efficient. Lightning leader to Maeve. Approaching mission area. Here come the heroes. Lightning 3. Marcus. Stay in formation. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Air Force support is arriving momentarily. Be careful. This is Lightning One. Kim, we entered the mission area. Target in sight. We see the aggressor's ugly new face. Launching missile. Fox Two. Okay. I. You know this is probably a really good time for overdrive. They did it. All attacks landed. Heavy damage to that new aggressor type. <laughs> How about that? I think I hit more than you, sir. <laughs> you wish. Objective complete. Lightning hit at home. 
Okay, we gotta get out of here. I will give I will give credit where credit is due. Overdrive is a sweet system. Ow. Ow. Okay, yeah, don't stand at all close to these guys. Bailing. 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 This really hurts. <laughs> That air support was uh, dubious at best. Okay, let's just assault rifle. I'm not actually. I think the assault rifle might be just as viable here. Okay, they're getting a little close for comfort. Be cool if they're friendly firing each other. Am I the only one left? Yeah, everybody else is bailed. Man. They certainly look like they're friendly firing each other. Please let me get my things. The new giant creatures have fallen silent. But Commander, a new type of aggressor means... The aggressors are on the move again. Cooling terminal unit. Maeve, send the data from this battle to Dr. Mengel immediately. Charge complete. Cloud here. Roger. Cooling terminal unit. Okay, only a bit left. I'm not gonna make it. I should have been getting it the entire time. Whatever, I'll be fine. That's a fair bit of energy gems anyway. Eh, rank B. I mean, I feel like I deserve a little bit more than a B, considering I soloed that whole thing, but eh. I hope none of that's copyrighted. Oh, I'm gonna be upset. How are soldiers doing today? This is Libby, cheering you on as always. I heard the aggressors deployed a new weapon the other day, and I was so worried. Oh, for nothing! Report after report of EDF victories. New weapon, schmeppin. The EDF is still the strongest force on this planet. Oh, I'm sorry. Got a little excited there. I should take a sip of my Land Lake Foods coffee and calm down. Drink piping hot coffee wherever you go. And it's pretty good, too. <laughs> Our lives are safe because the brave acts of hey, everyone at the closer. EDF. What you need? Go, EDF. You got this. I... I got this. You an Olivia fan? Yes. Hearing her voice gives me courage. Ah, oh, then you won't mind frontlining the next battle. What? You wouldn't really do that to me, would you? <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun one. I'm not going to use it, but still. An anteater AE 2032 equipped with an am with ammo sent from an unknown scientist. It was sent along with the crazy letter. Ho ho ho! There's a Yule log treat for the good boys and girls defending Earth. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just kidding. I'm not really Santa. What's this? Get on with it. Okay, fine. The magazine you're holding is no ordinary magazine, but a marvelous invention never previously conceived. The roulette- they're roulette bullets. One out of a hundred shots will take down an enemy with a single bullet. Didn't you ever have candy that sometimes had a prize in it? I always wanted to bring that childhood wonder to warfare. Nothing wrong with testing your luck before dying, right? So 1% pro probability of 1,000 damage. That's- I'm not gonna go for it, but that's cool all the same. Yeah, I like the outrage. The damage was pretty good. It'd be interesting to try... No. Maybe some of the later sn sniper rifles for sure, but definitely not this one. Anywho, uh, I am having a lot of fun. Obviously, you know, it's kind of a different flavor from EDF5, and a different flavor from what a lot of people I think are used to, but I love it all the same. So I will see you guys on the next episode of EDF Iron Rain. I'm also going to start streaming it after this point. I just wanted to get that first episode out uh, while I had the time today because, oh man, I love this game. I, I love this series so much. It is ridiculous. The weapons are fun. The missions are interesting. I love the fact that there's actually quite a number of different enemies already in the game and only one of them has existed in any of the previous games. You know, the, the basic ants, you got to have them. I do hope that we we do end up with more, uh, like, really big battles. I I want one battle at least with just, like, 
500 enemies on the field. I hope we get to see that again. Because currently it's been much smaller groups for the most part. And while I appreciate that, and it's nice and focused, I want those big battles just here and there. Just so I can go full bike man on things. I don't know. Anyway, it's it's fine. I, I am actually, like, kind of bouncing with anticipation of playing more. Uh, so, like I was saying... I'll see you guys in the next episode, and as always, thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and of course, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know, and if you want to see more EDF or EDF Iron Rain, uh, well, I'm going to be playing the crap out of this series, and yeah, I've got like nearly 100 episodes of the previous games too. So uh, go and enjoy those while you wait.